hello guys in this tutorial i am going to show you how you can fix unable to contact settings server error on your kali linux which is using on your android phone so let me show you how you can do that and how you can fix that error but let me first show you which is which is the error okay so so i am going to let me log into my kali linux and let me enable my vnc server here so if you don't know how to install Kali Linux on your Android phone without root, you can follow the description link and watch that video as well. After that, you will able to understand this video. Okay, so now our VNC viewer is started. Now let me show you the VNC app and let me check which is the error. You can see this error I'm getting, which is unable to contact settings server. So this is the package error guys. So we need to fix that error to use our Kali Linux without any problem. So for that you need to do first of all you need to stop your VNC server. So for that use kex stop and it will stop your VNC server. Now after that you need some commands. So for that go to any web browser and type Mahesh technicals. Here you will find myhtechnicals.com website, just open that website. Now you can see this article which is fix unable to contact settings server. If you not found this article here, you need to click on search icon and search fix and press enter. Now you will get this article. Just open this article I written for you. So here I'll tell you all the steps which is step by step guide to fix that unable to contact settings server error okay so for that just scroll down and first of all you need to log into your college next using nh space dash r i already did it now the second command is apt update so let me show you and make sure you are in the Kali Linux directory which is localhost after that just paste this command apt update and press enter now the many people getting the error while updating their packages through the Kali Linux package manager. So let me show you this is the error guys. So I am not able to update my packages. So we need to fix that error first after that we, we can fix unable to contact service uh, server error. Okay. So let me show you how you can do that. So first of all scroll down here and you need to open this file. So just copy this command and we need to modify this file for that just open this file first just paste and enter and it will open directly this file use arrows here to navigate to the here and you will see the name server here just hide this name server by using hash okay let me show you use only hash and it will hide this line after that scroll down here and press enter and here you need to paste two more lines which is name servers this name server is from google okay so just copy and paste here okay so you need to modify this file as you can see on your screen okay after that just click on ctrl o enter and ctrl x to save the file okay very simple now let me clear the terminal okay so our internet connection is fixed now we need to update our packages again so just copy apt update again and paste in into your terminal and let me show you it is working or not so because we change our name servers to google so now we can able to update our packages without any problem so just wait until the complete the process okay so we now successfully updated our package without any error okay we fixed the previous error so after that we need to install one package which is dbus x11 so just copy this command this package is missing 
in your Kali Linux packages. That's why we are getting that error which is unable to contact settings server. Okay, so let me install this package. So it will take some time guys, so please wait. Okay, so successfully package is installed which is dbuzz x11. So now let me enable my VNC server again. Let me start my VNC server again using this command. Now after getting port number, let me show you. Okay, we got the port number. Now go and open VNC viewer application and run. And now we are not getting any error. You can see this. This time we have our desktop version of Kali Linux. So we, we we fixed that error finally. Okay, so with this method you can easily fix that error which is unable to contact settings server. Okay, so you can read this article and bookmark it if you want to fix your error. So with this way you can easily fix that error and use Kali Linux on your Android phone very easily. So thank you so much for watching guys. If you like this video, please like and share.